We are still doing the Amazon giveaway. So you gotta watch the whole video. We put the link or the number or whatever it's called somewhere throughout the video. Make sure you see that number and make sure you're the first person to download the Amazon gift card. It can range anywhere from $5 to $500. So make sure you watch the whole video see that. So what's good everybody, welcome back to Chef Junie's TV. Today we got another episode of In the Kitchen where I bring you simple and easy recipes for you to try it in the comfort of your own home. On today's episode of In the Kitchen, we got a very special guest. We got my man Griff Tyler in the building. It's the deal. Like the hottest album out right now. Um, Appreciate and this that. is like this is like in my bag because I'm like an R&B dude. Like okay. R&B is my soul. Like I love R&B music. That's probably what I play the most. Thank but, you. So we got Griff today. We're gonna go into the album. We're gonna talk to you. We're gonna get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. Um, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a fire recipe. Okay. We're gonna do some shrimp and lobster fried rice. We're gonna do like a Benny Hada style fried rice, you know? So we're gonna get the Benny Hada butter going. We're gonna get the fried rice going. We're gonna get these shrimp going. Yeah. I'm gonna make you get your hands dirty and all that good stuff, all right? Bet. So you ready for this? Hell yeah. All right. Um, around here on Chef Junior TV, you know we like to give people their flowers while they can still smell them. So we got a little gift bag for you. Oh, right, we got um, we got this apron. This is a collab we did with I Love LA Girls. Oh, this is dope. So this is a Chef Junior exclusive. Once these run out, they run out, and no more of these made, right? So you got your oh, that's fire. Chef Junior in the heart, cook with love. Chef Junior TV. You got your I Love LA Girl right there. That's fire. I mean, you kind of swagged out today. I don't know if you want to wear the apron or not. Man, you you swaggy right now. Are you going? Are we don't wear an apron. Get, I'm not gonna wear an apron. Okay, I ain't gonna do it. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah. Um, we also got some candles from Higher Vibration. Where girl make these candles? Their intention oh, candles. Fire. I love so candles. You, you put your intentions out. They got the crystals in there. They yeah. got all kind of healing properties up in there. All right. Man. So you burn that when you with a nice young lady. Smell that smell. Smell good, right? Yeah. So you get you a nice young it smell, lady. It smell like it smell like something about you know. Right, right, right. So you cook this for her. Go down. You burn this candle. You set your intentions. Yeah. And that's that, right? But, we also got. Some Chef Junior all-purpose seasoning for you. Fire. All right, so this goes on everything. When I mean everything, it goes on everything. Everything. It's fire. So we got that for you. What else we got for you? All right, so uh, Basquiat is my favorite artist, so I got these specially made. Oh, dope. Uh, thank you cards for you. I'm going to put thank them back for you. I don't want you to cry on camera. Yeah, bro. Because I said some really positive words up in here. You know, I heard you on uh, Homegrown and said you ain't cried in a while. So yeah, I ain't cried. I don't want you to cry today minute. on camera. Yeah, man. So go ahead, put don't do that to me. No, I got on the glasses, but you know, still. So this is for you. Thank Take you, that man. home with you. I appreciate Did you. You put the apron back in there. Or you got the apron. Okay, you got the apron right there. All right. All right. So we just gonna jump into these ingredients. I'm gonna let you know what we got. Uh, the full recipe is gonna be in the description box down below. Right. right. So we got some shrimp. These are my um, 10 to 12 size shrimp. If you don't know about the size, I got a whole video explaining the size of the shrimp. Don't go in the store and buy jumbo shrimp. Because it's going to say jumbo on the bag, but it's not really jumbo. Oh. So these, they go by size. So these are 12, 10 to 12. That means there's 10 to 12 shrimp per bag. Oh. So the smaller the number, the bigger the shrimp. Okay. So if you got like a 36, 38 shrimp, that's really small shrimp. Yeah. Right? So we got some shrimp. We got lobster. We got some leftover rice from yesterday. That's the best way to make fried rice is your leftover rice. You don't ever want to do the fresh rice because it gets real sticky. Um, we got some soy sauce. We got some green onions. We got some peas and carrots. We got some eggs that's already beat. I don't know if beet, can we say beet nowadays? We, we got some you eggs. Don't get canceled, brother. We got some eggs that's whisked. Already, <laughs> all right, we ain't gonna say beet. All right, we I got salt them. and pepper. Or, I can't say whip. You can't whip, say whip either. Bip, we, 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 the whisk, yeah, whisk, 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 whisk. We got some garlic. This is how we gonna make our garlic butter. Okay. This. Then we got two sticks of butter. We got a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Usually I would use sesame seed oil, but I heard you got like a nut allergy and yeah. sesame seeds is technically a nut, so we ain't gonna, yeah, uh, yeah pause. Don't wanna <laughs> die on camera. <laughs> Don't wanna die on camera, brother. Uh, so that's it for our ingredients, right? Um, 
And around here on Chef Journey TV, we want to get to know the person. Okay. So we're going to jump into the music a little bit later, but we want to know, get to know Griff. Okay. So give us a little bit. First of all, how are you doing? How are you doing mentally, physically, I'm great. emotionally? I'm great physically. I'm great mentally. I'm great emotionally. I'm having fun with life, doing what I love. You feel me? I'm, I appreciate you for having me. Oh, today. no, thank you for coming. You're you know doing big stuff. You're on homegrown radio and stuff. Would you it consider is. homegrown radio like our version of The Breakfast Club? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It, it felt really good to be up there. I actually told them that was a milestone for me. Yeah, so. I, see, I saw the interview. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, that was great. Yeah, and Appreciate I saw you on uh, Chrissy B show. Yeah, shout out Chrissy B. Shout out Chrissy B. I did a little yeah. research on you before we did this interview. I don't like to ask the same questions other people ask, so I tend right. to watch other videos. Right. Um, but we are totally different over here. We, like I said, we like to get to know you, um, like your mental space, your emotional space, everything. Um, give me a little bit about your background. Where did you grow up? Who did you grow up with? Did you have both parents in your home? Like, give me the full breakdown of Griff. No, I actually, so I grew up in Inglewood, California. What part um, of Inglewood? Like, North Inglewood. What streets? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what, really, what, 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 like what main streets? No, nah, it's like, the main streets is like... Because uh, I live in Inglewood right now. Yeah, um, it's close to La Brea. It's like by the DMV. Okay, okay. Like around there, okay. yeah. Yeah, so... Like right by Rogers Park. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's where I grew up. Um, my, I didn't uh, have both parents in my household. Uh, my, my, my pops, he stayed in the valley. And my mom, you know, I grew up with my mom, obviously. Um, so yeah, that was, you know, separation, broken home type shit. How did that affect you growing up? Did that affect you? Um, it affected me a lot. It affected me a lot because I actually, my mom, you know what I'm saying? It was some baby boy type shit. Okay. It's like, you know, she had, she had a dude. I ain't like him. Did he choke you up? He, no. hey, I, almost, <laughs> almost. You know almost. what I'm saying? We didn't, we didn't got into it a, a few times, but um, yeah, was that's. It, was it valid though? Did he have a good reason to hem you up like that? Cause you know we be on some, you know we be on some fuck shit with our moms and I think with that dudes. I think that he had a good reason to do it. Like, like as I grew up, I realized like nigga, you was being an asshole right, as right. a kid. Like, yeah, don't talk, don't talk to my mom. Like, right, right. shut the fuck up, nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that happened, and uh, she actually, I have uh, three younger brothers that, you know, like, were conceived by, you know, by them too. So, he was around a long time, and right. like, you know, so, I was like a, a only child until that happened. Okay. So, it really fucked me up, like, like, who was uh, everybody coming into my right, home right, right. with my mama? Right, right, right. So, it was, it was some real Jody type shit, but, yeah, it affected me a lot. Like, I had to, like, grow up faster and just be like, I don't know. I had to deal with, um, I don't know, not being the center of attention anymore. Okay. Really quickly. What type of relationship did you have with your dad? Um, it was distant. It was distant. So basically, my mom and pops, they, you know, they grew up together and uh, they were like best friends damn near. Okay. So the way I happened was like, it, was, it didn't mean to happen that way. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a miracle. But um, after that, like they just they just got into it, you know. They, it wasn't like same 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 type of story that you hear all the time. Separated families, you know. Like I don't want to put too much fault on either side. Like right, right. I'm, I'm grown now, and I just don't I don't harbor any type of like resentment towards any okay. either of them so, for for me being away from my pops as long as right, I was. Right. You don't think it caused like daddy issues? Kendrick Lamar got a bar in his no, latest sure. album talking about daddy issues for sure. and I have to reflect on myself a little bit like damn I, am I is the stuff that I'm doing now gonna cause my sons because I have two boys it's gonna cause and I have a daughter too so it's gonna cause my sons or my daughter to have daddy issues in the future yeah but we don't really focus on boys having daddy issues it's all about the girl like okay I gotta keep her off the pole I gotta you know she right. can't have daddy issues she can't and we don't really focus on our sons having daddy issues I for sure so have daddy that, issues yeah for sure, for sure, because I just like, I needed them in my life growing up due to everything I was going through and um, dealing with another man that wasn't my biological father. You right, know? right. And it was like at the same, it's like certain things about yourself that are just hereditary and you just can't explain them, but you just know, like, you know, I got this from someone. How am I like this? You know right, what I mean? Right. So it's like having your father in your life is, is a way for you to understand that, you okay. know? Like, okay. and I feel like once me and him, uh, rekindled and got closer uh like like later on in life like when i was like um i guess like transitioning to high school and shit like that it was like 
I became, I, I grew because I could understand myself right, better. Because right. I was looking at myself. You feel okay. me? Like he, he'd talk to me and I'd be like, that's me. You feel me? And just hearing my mom all the time whenever I did something bad or something like you just like your goddamn daddy it's like right. it's kind of dramatic because it's like it. you know i can see it yeah. i'm like damn you're right you yeah. feel me because at first it's just like well, like why are you tripping on me but i get it now so yeah okay. it helped a lot well you know we're gonna we're gonna talk some more but we're gonna jump into this recipe yeah. uh, the first thing we want to do we want to roast off this garlic all right so we're gonna cut the top off we're gonna hit it with a little bit of olive oil some salt and pepper all and right. we're gonna throw it in the oven and let it roast for about maybe an hour hour and a half all right okay bet. so we're gonna go ahead and you want to do it this is that this is that chef Juni knife right there. It's super right. sharp. I don't really know how to do okay, this. Bro. So we just gonna hold it like that, yeah. and we just gonna cut the top off straight down like that. Okay. And oh, I, you I, a lefty? I took, I took my fingers right. Oh, you a lefty? Yeah. Oh, I heard about y'all. What does that mean? Um, y'all think y'all special? I mean, shit, you right about that. I do think <laughs> I'm special. Uh, we gonna cut it a little bit more. Let me show you. It takes it takes a right hand to do this properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I wasn't trying to flip that nut. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. We want to expose most of that garlic, right? Okay. And then we're going to hit it with a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. Get the olive oil all down in there. <laughs> Lubricant. Yeah, there we go. Hit it with some salt. Get your salt bag on. <laughs> hey, get it with some pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some aluminum foil. Okay. Just take a sheet of aluminum foil. And we're just gonna close it up like that. And throw it oven. We're gonna throw it oven just like this for about 45 minutes to an hour. All right? Okay, bet. So we're gonna let this roast real quick. We're gonna let it roast and we're gonna come back after this is finished and we're gonna chop it up some more. We in the kitchen. We'll be back in a little bit, all right? Yes, sir. Peace. All right. Through TV magic, it's magically been an hour. And we just pulled our garlic out of the oven. Yeah. Right? And you see how that looks? All nice and roasted. Yeah. With a good little caramelization on top. Right. Bring it out that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You're just gonna take this and you're gonna squeeze this in the butter. Okay. So just squeeze it like that in the butter. We're gonna get all that garlic out of there. So just like, just. Yep, just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our, oh, you left-handed. Take yeah. our um, spatula and you're just gonna mix all that up. Use your other hand to hold the bowl. Chef Curry nice with the bop, boy. <laughs> Get it with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Just gonna break up this butter. So it's kind of easier if you like smash the butter on along the side of the bowl. Oh, like, like, like this? Yeah. That makes sense. That's how easy it is to make that garlic butter. That's right. fire. It smells good as fuck. Let me help y'all a little bit. So. And then we gonna hit it with a little bit of this. Sounds like sauce. something. <laughs> <laughs> It's always the R&B dudes. It's always the R&B dudes. Sound like something I'm familiar with. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and uh, pour some of this soy sauce up in there. Speaking of R&B dudes, would you consider yourself to be an R&B singer or a rapper? Or like, Man. what would you consider your genre to be? That's a good question. Uh, I like to just say I'm an artist. Just an artist? I'm an artist, yeah, because I can just do everything and I don't want to box myself in. Do you play instruments? Um, I'm learning how to play the piano currently. Piano, okay. Yeah. After uh, Chris B had that that question for you, bro, I, I don't know how I, a, I don't know how I got that wrong because I, feel I like thought I, it was the piano too, though. But I, I feel like I knew that and I just over overthought it. Yeah. You know. What was the answer? The answer was, was the question bass. was. It was bass. What's the most played what's instrument? The in, most dominant. Um, in R and B. Um, yeah, instrument. And in it was the bass. It's the bass. I would I would have thought um, the piano too. Cause if you think about it, when you listen to R and B, it's like think about what <laughs> you talking about. <laughs> it's all good. I got man. a little bit of butter on you. It's all good. It's all good. But um, like when you listen to it, you hear like the the most like prominent instrument is that. Imagine listening to a song without, without like bass. a bass. Right, right, yeah. 
Yeah, because not all songs need a piano. Exactly. But all songs kind of need the They bass. need that doom. Right, right, right. Yeah, so. All right, so we got this nice and smooth, nice and mixed up all together. We're going to add a little bit more of this soy sauce. We went a little bit darker, and the soy sauce add like a kind of a salt tea flavor to it. Okay. All right. For sure, gonna make this at the crib. Yeah. Like I said, make this at the crib, burn one of them candles, and you are good to go. Baby, sit down. I got you some wine. Right. I'm gonna make this meal for you. All right. I came up with this, this recipe candle. all by myself. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna put this to the side for now. And you can keep your gloves on, okay? Because you about to get your hands dirty with this uh, lobster and these shrimp, right? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get your shrimp, and we're just gonna peel off the whole shrimp, the, the shell and everything, the tail and everything, all right? Okay. So go ahead and good. yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna take this. It's already kind of pre-cut, yeah. and the poop is already out, <laughs> right? And we're just gonna go ahead and take this whole shell off like that. Okay. Right? And I'm gonna put it right in the bowl like that. So, so I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna wash my hands. And as you uh, set them on the side? You can set them like leave them in the bowl, yeah. Oh leave them in the bowl. Yeah. Put these on the side? On, on, no, in on the bowl, the, in the bowl. Keep yeah, them take on the, the shell, you can put the shell on the side. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. All right, while you're doing that, Chef, I got I got some rapid fire questions to ask you. Oh, shit. Now, this ain't, this ain't like homegrown and, and uh, this ain't no, uh, like Chrissy, this ain't no tricky questions, all right? All right, for you sure. Know, shout out to homegrown and Chrissy B. All right, but these are just like off the top of your head, real quick answer these questions, all right? All right. All right, um, this one's kind of not quick. Well, this the first one is quick, all right? If you are what you eat, what are you? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, um, First question to pop in the head. If you are what you eat, what are you? Damn, that's, that. yeah, you're right. That ain't quick. That's quick. Shit, I'm trying to think. Because I don't want to say no bullshit. I eat a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, let me see. Um, I don't know. God damn, bro. That's 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 t a tougher question than you think it is. Because nigga don't want to say chicken. Nigga don't want to say... <laughs> <laughs> Some bullshit. <laughs> like you're just your chicken. Nah, uh fuck. Um especially while doing this shit. Uh you are what you eat, you are I don't know. Fucking cake. Cake. <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't, so, I don't know, bro. That's so a tough eat, question. So you eat cake. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. That's my point. I can't get that question. Like, I can't. I, it was nothing I could say. That was. All right. What's the pettiest again. way you ever broke up with a chick? Uh, I actually never uh broke up with somebody in a petty way. No. Uh, nah. I um, I'm a straight shooter, and I like. I, I'm very honest. What do I do with this shit? Oh, I'll show you how to do that. Is all oh. the shrimp done? Uh, oh, you quick. Yeah. You're, you're professional. You know what I'm saying? Right you know what I'm saying? But, uh, right with my fingers. <laughs> but anyways, uh, no, nah, I, um, uh, I just, I, I sent a text, like, uh, is that that's petty? Kinda, that's kind of petty. Like, yeah, I can't, I, but it's like a long ass paragraph, like, you know, you're, you're wonderful and blah, blah, yada, 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 compliments on compliments and then just be right. like, yeah, but yeah. I. All so. right, so this is like a piggyback off of that question. What is the pettiest reason why you broke up with a chick? Uh, damn, that's tough. Uh, I don't know. Back back in high school, I had I had a girlfriend, and I think that uh, I broke up with her for the simple fact that like she was fucking with a, a like her her ex was like a dude that I knew, and like they was like, I guess talking at like a school dance or some shit like that. So I was like, fuck you. Depends where I broke up with a chick. You I talk left, to that nigga. I left her at the movies. <laughs> You yeah. just wait. Y'all went to y'all went on a date to the movies and yeah. then you just left. Yeah, yeah, cause she was talking about me. You a cold blooded she, brother. She, my, but she was like, she was like disrespecting me, talking about me at the movies. Well, like, what was she saying? Um, 
She was like talking about my baby mama. I was like, I, I don't care what kind of turns me and my baby mama was. Like, you can't disrespect her. And you just left her there. Y'all yeah. was in the theater. You was in the theater. And you just like, all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm left. gonna try it. I left. I was, I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and I just dipped out. I hopped in an Uber and dipped out. And I took the parking ticket with me, so she had to pay maximum price to get out the parking stall. Oh, actually. That's fucked up. Actually. That's, that's pretty fucked up, huh? Damn. Actually, I I'm did sorry. do something crazy Not really before. Now, you made you reminded me. In college, I had a girlfriend, and we kept all our condoms in her dorm. Uh -huh. And I left at like four in the morning. Like, we, like, you know, basically broke up, but I was still, I was over there, so I just went to sleep. At like four in the morning, I left and I took all the condoms <laughs> off, she got off her she drawer. Gotta know. She gotta know, like, hey, we over. Bro. You ain't gotta be fucking another right, nigga right, with the right, condoms right, I bought. Right. All right, this might be this might be a little bit before your time, but um, if you had to pick a movie out of these two movies, which movie would you pick? The Five Heartbeats or Temptations? Woo! Probably The Temptations. Temptations. But I ain't oh, seen either in a while. I, I think I would go with Five Heartbeats on that one. Okay. All right, what's your go-to song in the shower? Um, uh, Can You Stand the Rain? <laughs> Can You Stand the Rain? <laughs> Can we have on a perfect day? Let me hear a couple bars. I know that I can count on you. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. That's my <laughs> shit though. That's my favorite song. You just be rubber dubbing. Yes. Can you be like you? You be like acting like you like dancing in the rain when the shower going? Hell no, that's too much. I'll just be singing it. You know what I'm saying? That's where all the emotions come from. Shit like that. All right. The last question is always a top five question, right? Okay. Um, DJ Head on Homegrown like gave you your props on. On your writing skills and yeah. I, I agree like your writing skills your pen game is amazing so my top five question for you is who's your top five r&b writers Ooh, um damn don't cancel me r kelly r kelly okay the I dream the dream that thing is crazy uh neo neo um last two who i'm going with who i'm going with because i don't want to miss nobody because i'm you know they're gonna shoot me down right all right um those three is like top. Uh, I would say Usher. Usher. Um, and um, 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 Tyrese. Tyrese. I don't know if he wrote all his shit though. Yeah, but know. that's a solid top yeah, five. I mean, like I don't know that that's that that, that five, five spot. I know I'm missing somebody. Uh, I'll round it off with I'll say Tyrese. I'll stick. I'll stand on it. Would you ever do a dance album? Honestly, yeah. 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 All right. So I'll, for these lobsters, what we're gonna do is. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these lobsters straight down the back, all right? Okay. Then we're gonna saute these off later. All right, just like that. Flip it around. Straight through like that. Okay. All right. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. So you just cut one side at a time, basically. Yeah. So kind of push your knife straight through at the bottom, like stab it a little bit. You gotta make sure you go all the way through because that shell. Uh, you flip yeah. it around and follow that line. Jesus Christ. You made it look so easy. I mean, I'm, I am a top notch chef. All right, we're just gonna put this aside for now. Oh, they like tap the knife like, are they done? Um, no, but. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, if that's what you choose to do, um, we're going to put that to the side now. We're going to reset the kitchen. We're going to get our stove out and we're going to get busy with this cooking. And I got some more questions for you, all right? All right, bet. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. All right, so we back. We reset the kitchen. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to sear off these lobster tails. We're going to set that to the side and then we're going to build the fried rice right in this pan right here, all okay. right? So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our lobster tails and hit it with a little, let's take off these shells right here. Let's hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, we're gonna get most of our flavor from that garlic butter that we just made, all right? Okay. So we hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then hit yours with some salt and pepper. If you want gloves, you can use gloves. We're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. And we're just gonna go ahead and put our lobster tails in I don't wanna reach too. over it. Uh, oh, salt and pepper? Salt, yeah.
We're going to let that cook a little bit and then we're going to add maybe about one good tablespoon of that garlic butter. Did I mess up the sound, Asia? I'm sorry. Don't yell at me. Mm -hmm. Asia be yelling at me behind the scenes, y'all. Grant, put the camera on Asia. Turn that camera. She be yelling at me on camera. You like this Cisco? This fire. Yeah, I fuck with Cisco. All right, so on your song, let's see what question we got right here, right? Um, running game feature, Ru uh, Ruchi. Yeah. First of all, how did you come up with that uh, collab? How did you get that collab? Um, well, I made the song first and I had the song like, I think I made that shit like, I wanna say like, was it like a year ago? Or like a year and a half ago. And uh, I was just sitting on it for a while. And then when we had the idea for the tape, it kind of like fit into the tape's like uh, concept. Right. And we were like, just what rapper can like add to this? And we thought of Ruchi. Okay. And um, um, he really slid on it too. Yeah, he did. Shout he Ruchi. did. On that song, you say, toxic ass nigga, but they're still good at me. Yeah. What makes you toxic? Uh, I think that, I think that my uh, indecisiveness makes me toxic. Indecisiveness? Like, my, my indec like, yeah, my choices being stuck between two different choices, like wanting to be with someone or one in love, but at the same time being a hood rat. Okay. Being so, ghetto. So the good in you is one in love. Yeah. But the toxic part is like, you, you put you for the streets. For the streets, but like... But I don't want to be. You don't want to be? I'm like, I'm a classic case of I don't want to be a player no more. So. But but I feel like you're kind of like in the prime of your career right now. She's yeah. really about to pop off. I see big things for you in your future. Like, I really fuck with your music. I Thank can you. see you winning Grammys and all this shit. Man, that's um, big. Appreciate that, bro. For real. Do you think that's going to jeopardize you not being a player anymore? Um... I was actually told this recently <laughs> that yeah it will, but I'm gonna do my best for it not to, because I don't I don't want to live that life. But why? I'm one why woman. Why just don't want to be for the streets? One woman man. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I just feel like um, it's distracting. You know what I'm saying? Like when I'm at my best, I'm not doing all that bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I'm I might not be the most creative, because you know, of course, living life and doing things creates those songs. You know. All right. But I just feel like um, I just rather be stable and in a, a, a the right mindset. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like that, it gets you more focused. Yeah, when you ain't doing all that all that other shit, you just be like focused. lying, cheating, hiding oh. the phone. All that shit, man. It's man, it creates distractions. Yeah, it creates distractions for sure. Yeah. I got I got more focused on my purpose once I got into a committed relationship with my girl. It's right. always good to have that right person by your side because they, they motivate you, they push you in the right direction. Yeah. You don't want to be out there doing all that fuck shit. It's like, okay, right. let me go, let me stay home and let me go out there and do my business. So. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, they're still good in me. They're still good in you. So we let these yeah. cook for a little bit, flip them a few times so they could cook all the way through. Okay. And we gonna make sure our heat is not too hot. All right, so that's good. It smells good as fuck. Um, we gonna go ahead and season that with some salt and pepper as well, the shrimp. Okay. I've been, uh, let me wash my hands real quick. I've been, uh, I've been cussing, is that cool? Yeah, yeah. I just realized well, I've been cussing like a motherfucker. What? You said it's cool, so I can cuss now. <laughs> Freely. Grab a napkin, I'm sorry. That's good. Here, we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. Add a little bit more butter. Uh, you can mix up with the tongs. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to this. That's about, like I said, the full description of the recipe is gonna be in the description box. Okay, you're just gonna take the same tongs and just add the shrimp to that. It smells fire, bro. All right. Oh, yeah. 
So we're gonna let these cook for maybe about like three or four minutes on each side. Okay. And like I said, we're just gonna build everything right in this pan right here. All right, so um, you said in your song, Weak Moments, right? All right. Said she get all her advice from Justin LaBoy's page, right? Yeah. Why do women do that? I don't know. And they, they wanna DM you with the, they wanna send you the message, oh, this is what Justin LaBoy said. Yeah, they posted so much, but I think it's just, I don't know, I think he, uh, I think like, you know, this, this time that we're in, like it's all about like spaces, safe spaces for people to just be themselves. And I think he just creates a safe space for like all women to just, right. for all they thoughts for them to and congregate feelings. and be like, that's yeah. exactly how I feel. Yeah, that's their space, that's their shit, you right. feel me? Um, and he's a genius for that, by yeah, the way. I yeah. used to like really admire the fact that he was able to do that. Um, so that's what I'm saying. But I'm like, today you're gonna listen to me though. Right, right, right. Not, yeah. Not Justin LaBoy. Yeah, today you're gonna, yeah. respectfully. Exactly, respectfully. Respectfully, you're gonna exactly. listen to me. Exactly, exactly. Right, right. So I just flipped it a little bit. All right, so Airplane James got, um, what's the Airplane James album? Uh, I just Loki Hurt. Loki Hurt. Yeah. So Airplane James got Loki Hurt, right? Sham got Foul Play. play. Yeah. You got Play to the Left, right? Yeah. My question to you is, why the hell is LA women so toxic? Bro, it's law scandalous. Law scandalous. Law scandalous, that's what I call it. Cause it, I don't know, it's just like. Cause I feel like y'all some good brothers, some good individuals. Man, appreciate And they keep you, on brother. messing y'all over like that. Like, Bro, I you just, know, yeah, I, I'm just I, glad I'm not in the streets right now because <laughs> I'm I mean, Pisces, I'm, I'm light skinned, I'm sensitive. I know I'll be hurt. I come out with my own love album uh, talking about these women. I mean. I'm not in the streets right now. That's like, it's all like past talk, you know what I'm saying? Things that I was inspired by. But I feel like, uh, like during those times, I don't know. I don't know. I think that we, we enable it though as men. I think right. that, you know what I'm saying? If I'm like, if I'm being a hood rat, she gonna be a hood rat too. You can't really do nothing about it. If that's the life that you live in, that's the life, that's the life you live in. So I can't speak for uh, Shaman and, and, and Plain, but like for me, like I get played to the left due to Plain. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't gonna lie. Like one of my favorite tracks on Sham's album is the one you and him got together. Like I, that's like, that was that's one of the fire. songs. That's just like that's on fire. repeat. Um, yeah. And you also got a song with Airplane James on your album. Yeah. Um, I'm speaking for the fans because I'm a fan. Can we get like an airplane James Sham and Griff tour going? That would be crazy. That'd be crazy fire. That'd be hard as fuck. We need, I, we, I, I'm, I'm down to do that for sure. We need that tour going. Sham and Plane, what we doing? What y'all doing? You know? That's crazy, yeah, because that's that's fire. We all make like the same type of conceptual right, 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 uh, uh, right. Like music. And it's so. all it's it's the same, but it's different. Everybody it's different. got their own Everybody voice. Got their own style. Everybody sound individual. You yeah. know, it's like it, we complement each other very yeah. well. Yeah. I think that would be a fire tour, especially yeah. if it's just like a one-off show in LA. That'd, That'd be, be dope. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with that idea. Think y'all, I think y'all can sell out the Roxy. Oh, man, Buddy just sold out the Roxy. Shout out to Buddy. Shout out Buddy. Yeah. That shit was crazy. That shit was fire. Yeah. So we're gonna oh, take that's these. a good idea. Appreciate that idea. Bro. Yeah, we're gonna take these out. And then, like I said, we're just gonna cook this up. Everything in this pot like this. You want to keep all those little bits and pieces in there because that's where all the flavor is at, right? Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our peas and carrots. Okay. We're going to add our green onion, but we ain't going to add all of them. We're going to save some for the end. Okay. To garnish with, right? And what's this over here? Soy sauce. We're going to add that soy sauce in there too. Taking mental notes. Yeah. I'm going to see teach somebody else this. Yeah. See all those bits and pieces coming up off the bottom of the pan now? Yeah. Oops. Now we're going to add a little bit of egg that we already whisked. We whisked. We didn't beat we it. We didn't beat it. We whisked the eggs. Michael Jackson said beat it. Yeah. Yeah. Might be good. Yeah. <laughs> Just add beat it. Our rice. Just whisk it. A little bit more of this rice. And this is where the fried rice come in at, because we're going to fry this rice up a little bit. Fire. Add a little bit of soy sauce. 
So that's like the rest that you saved. Yeah. And you added you added the soy sauce to the butter. For the butter, right? Add a little bit more of this butter. Like this butter goes a long way. You can't never have too much of that butter. And we're just gonna add our shrimp back. We ain't gonna add the lobster back yet. We're just gonna add the shrimp back. Look. How often do you just break out in song? I do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like whatever I think, I just, I just sing instead of say. All right. Whatever I think, I sing. Now I got a song that I've been working on, right? And you know, like I, I sung for Sham, but rapping came a little bit too easy for me. So I yeah. think I want to be a R&B singer now. Okay. Can I, can I sing a song? Go ahead. Yeah, you give me your honest opinion. Good. All right. <laughs> it better not be no bullshit. No, 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 no. I wrote this this morning. Okay. <clears throat> he said this morning. <clears throat> <clears throat> Where's my water at? I need a sip of water. Give me more water. Because I got the vocals for days. You know what I mean? Right, Asia? Yeah. <clears throat> me, 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 Here we go. Me. I'm your homie, Gekko. Yeah. Oh, you see that lady on YouTube? Nah. It's a lady on YouTube that she, she be doing yeah, that? Yeah, she like train all these little kids and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Nami ain't holding get killed. All right. When I look into your eyes, I see butterflies. And it makes me realize I want to do it to you. That's to my girl. Shout out to Amy. That's dedicated to you. What do you think about that? Uh, think that's bars? Bars? Hey, I, got the, I, I got the vocals, right? You know, the lyrics aren't bad. It was the delivery. Sham said I could go on tour with him. Can I go on, can I go on this airplane, James? Yes. Griff and Sham tour? 100%. All right. Can I open up for you guys? Yeah. All and right. we can sing that acapella. Tell the crowd, be quiet. Just yeah, be just shut up and y'all hear that. That's two cosigns already. Yeah. You know? Fights on me. See, it's, it's always oh, nice like this. Head it's, up. It's, it's always your own people. It's always your own people. But <laughs> I want to do it to you. That's what you said. We go. Yeah, yeah. Let me when see I look lyrics. into her eyes, it makes me realize. Nice. No, when I look into her eyes, it gives me butterflies. butterflies. Then it makes I me realize, realize I want to do it to her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we go. Uh, when I look in your eyes, I. See butterflies. See, it's a hit already. It makes me realize that I want to do it to you. Hey. That I want to do it to you. Hey. Hey, that I want to do it to you. Hey. Hey, that I want to do it to you. That I want to do, 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 do. I want to do it to her. And she already knew that. So I turn around and smack on her butt. Smack it on the butt. Smack it on the butt. Pull the hair. Pull the hair. Smack her on the butt again. Put my thumb in her. No. Do that too. Um, <laughs> we we going to reset the kitchen real quick, and then we're going to play up this food, and we're going to eat this food. I got a couple more questions for Griff, and we're going to be up out of here, all right? So I'll see y'all in a little bit. That's it, fire. Peace. Yeah, see? We came up with a hot sauce right here. So we are back. We reset the kitchen. This is my favorite part of the dish. This is where I get my artistry off, you know, as far as singing and rapping. and I do that too, but, you know, yeah. This is where I get my real artistry off. Okay. I like making the plate look beautiful. I like building it up and making it look gorgeous. Like you make your uh, vocal sound on the track, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna plate this up. And as we plate this up, I got two more final questions for you and then we're gonna get up out of here. So the first question that I got for you is, um, who, who do you wanna work with in the city that you haven't already worked with? <clears throat> um. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of artists that I want to work with in the city. You know, obviously, you know, the hottest artist in LA right now is Blast. Okay. 
you know, I feel like we would complement each other very well um, if we worked. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give that answer. Uh, my dream in the city though is Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. If, I, if I ever worked with Snoop Dogg, man, like that'd be a dream come true, for sure. I think I'll take too many shrimp. I'll leave you one extra. I was about to say, I was like, that's a lot of shrimp, brother. Um, so what I did was I kind of just started in the middle and kind of build it up, all right? Okay. Then we're gonna take a little bit of this green onions and we're gonna garnish it like this, all right? Then we're gonna take our lobster tails. We're just gonna put our lobster tails on it like that, all right? And there you have it. Let me see, right. let me see you plating. My plates to Your the plate. left. Yeah. Hope you caught it. Yeah. Um, so where do you see yourself in five years as far as your music career? Man, I see me being a star, but like uh, globally and not just uh, in the city. You know? Okay. I see me, you know, taking over arenas and stadiums. You know, I see me just uh, taking like the sound that we all love over here to higher levels and just, you know, just repping this city on a bigger stage and just, you know. Right. Yeah, that's where I see myself. Okay. My bad, I don't know if I'm doing too much. Um, yeah. Voila, oh shit. Put it on this side. Spin my plate a little bit. I was blocking some of the shrimps. Oh, you don't want to block the shrimp? I don't want to block the shrimps. Got your salt bay on. <laughs> I see you. I see you. I'm trying to, so I'm trying to take your singing career. You're trying to take my cooking career. I see yeah. what's going on. So there you have it, everybody. Stop, Rose. That's Chef Joni's Benihana style shrimp and lobster fried rice. I'm going to have Grip go ahead and taste it, see how he like it. Um, yeah, let's get some pictures first and then we can taste it. Okay, I was about to say. All right, so there you have it, everybody. Chef Juni's shrimp and lobster fried rice, Benihana style. We had some of that good old garlic butter we added up in there. We got those nice big shrimp. We got some good lobster tail. We make this all nice and delicious. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let you taste it first. I want you to do the honors and taste it. Go to fork me? Yeah, let me, let me know. Let me know what you think about that. That didn't sound right, but yeah. I was talking about the cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> See, I'm gonna I'm I'm take a bite of the rice and then get some shrimp. Okay. Let's, let, me see, let me see what we're working with here. Round of applause, brother. You like that? Magnifico. Delicioso. The chef kiss. That's fire, bro. That garlic butter is coming through. You see, we didn't lose, use a lot of seasons, a lot of salt or pepper, nothing like that. Yeah. Natural flavors. Natural flavors. If you made it to this part of the video, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know who you want to see on In The Kitchen. Let me know what recipes you want to see on In The Kitchen. Also, um, you got anything you want to say where people can find you? Yes, sir. I go by Griff Tyler. You can find me everywhere, all streaming platforms at Griff Tyler. Instagram, Twitter at I am Griff Tyler. Appreciate you for having me. Thank Appreciate this delicious meal. Man, I love this interview. Appreciate it, bro. Right, Appreciate all the here. gifts, too. We out of here. Peace.